Bombing brown kids? Oh, we're f***ing on our A game helping brown kids? Oops! It broke apart in the sea! How many more charred corpses does he have to see before the president considers the change of policy? We don't want to see a single more innocent life taken, and I kind of take a little offense at the question. I loved also he feigned like he's being insulted because of his lack of moral outrage, as if his humanity is being attacked. I take offense to that, that you think that we don't care. We've talked about care, thought about it a lot. We've just decided to let it keep happening. It's not something that we've turned a blind eye to, nor has it been something we've ignored or neglected to raise with our Israeli counterparts. We brought it up with our Israeli counterparts, yeah. You've publicly used words, but you are materially advancing this onslaught. Under international law, John Kirby, it is illegal to supply a country with arms while it continues an ongoing human rights violation. So, you are complicit, okay? We are. The U.S. government is absolutely complicit in this genocide. There would be no genocide without the U.S. government completely. So this has been going on for decades. Obviously, I say that all the time, but it's true. I mean, I don't know how other way to put it, really. You try to find the best way to say it, and then you just stick to that script, because it's, like, it's not changing. Very cut and dry. Aid shipments to Gaza by sea have been halted after a new U.S.-made pier broke apart in rough seas. Hilarious. This is the extent to their so-called humanitarian effort of makeshift sea bridge that falls apart in the sea. Couldn't have a better metaphor for the United States government's effort to help the people of Gaza while they have no problem finding the ways to get weapons to Israel. Is this from 1944 itself? Was this the same equipment that they used to storm the beaches of Normandy? What is this? This is what poor people get, okay? This is what you get, poor people. You get lackluster, half-baked, milk-toast fucking effort. Absolutely despicable. Bombing Brown kids? Oh, we're f***ing on our A game for that. Helping brown kids? Oops! It broke apart in the sea! We're the U.S. Navy, but we can't handle off the coast of Gaza in the Mediterranean Sea. I mean, wow, what a f***ing storm that is, huh? Look at that shit. holy is that Hurricane Katrina? I can't see too good. Whoa! Wow, the U.S. military. Our tax dollars at work. Two days after the strike in Western Rafah that killed dozens, Gazan health officials said another bombardment had taken place, killing at least 21. The Israeli military denied striking within the borders of the Israeli-designated humanitarian zone for evacuees. Do you not understand how insane this is. Two days after the strike in Western Rafah, as we were still processing those images and videos, and the entire world was condemning Israel for this savagery, they go on to strike another encampment. This time, in the very place they told them to go to after Rafah, which has no infrastructure, completely hopeless, Al Mawasi, right on the coast. Like, I was making videos about Al Mawasi months ago. How sinister I thought it was that they were already telling these people to go, just go f off. I don't know, go by the sea. I mean, it's like literally on the sea, and there's nothing there. They say, yeah, that's that place is safe. If you could just zoom out and see the ping-ponging that's been happening of these twice and thrice and quadruple you know, so on and so forth. Refugees, four times, ten times over. They just keep moving from one place to another, getting bombed, moving to a new place, getting bombed, and it's been going on since 1948, and even really, honestly, before then, they were already being massacred. That's why this book is really important. The Hundred Years' War on Palestine. If you want to know about the history, how you think this shit began year zero was October 7th? No, goes over a century. The reports come just two days after 45 people were killed by an Israeli airstrike. Look at how many other words they had to write. Look at this. That they had to write so as to distance, not only physically, but conceptually, from placing blame on the Israeli government. The reports come just two days after dozens of people were killed by an Israeli airstrike, New York Times. <clears throat> more than 20 people were killed and dozens more were injured when a strike hit a tent encampment for displaced Palestinians. Gazan officials said that at least 21 people were killed and dozens injured on Tuesday in a strike that hit a tent encampment housing displaced people in Al Mawasi, a coastal area in southern Gaza where Israel has designated a humanitarian safe zone. It was not immediately clear what sort of weapons or shells had landed in the camp or whether they had been fired from the ground or launched from aircraft. It seemed to recall Bassan also unable to find any craters in the ground. 
uh, and someone made a tweet about suggesting that perhaps they're testing new forms of weapons on the Gaza that don't leave a crater. They're like, shit, all this crater business, it's really bad for our press. Let's make some new kinds of ways to blow up children. World's smartest Zionists try not to invoke big biblical times to justify an ethnic cleansing challenge impossible. We get it, dude. You have no brain. You want to talk about biblical rights as if they have any status in the world today. Uh, just go ahead and buzz off, okay? Slither away, okay? Nobody believes you, all right? Nobody believes your bullshit. And once again, no one can claim, no social group or country or nation can claim that 3,000 years ago, this is my version of history, so now I get to kill these people. That is a baby-brained argument, and you should be resigned to going back to the kids' table, okay? Because you don't belong here, okay? You're a deeply un serious person, okay? You need to go schedule that lobotomy stat. Critical thinking is not your strong point, clearly. Just go ahead and toss aside the entire historical record of this genocide, of this ethnic cleansing. Go ahead and just toss aside international law. It doesn't matter because it doesn't apply to the Zionist project of Israel, clearly. They can form their Jewish supremacist ethnostate because of a miracle book. Yeah, even though most of them are fucking atheists to begin with. Whatever. Your free Palestine doesn't make any sense. Yes, to a lib turd such as yourself, you're not gonna complicate this, all right? It's, you're just coming off as a babbling idiot. That's pretty much what you are. Your head resembles a canoe. Nobody's falling for it. It's weird that you called it Palestine, so you acknowledge it's called Palestine. That's right, that's right, because your miracle book said so. My miracle book said so, so. My version of history is correct. I'm gonna cite the Merneptah steel as the reason I get to kill these people. No, what you seem to be mad about are facts. Because under international law, today, right in this very moment, the entire world accuses Israel of illegally acquiring territory through an act of aggression, which is an international crime. And they, being Israel, is in violation once again and is urgently called upon to vacate the occupied territories. I don't know. It seems like you just can't comport with the actual historical record. You cannot compute with the fact that your favorite little apartheid state is being called out by the entire international community, by every relevant governmental international body you can think of. Every judicial entity, the highest court in all the land condemns Israel. No one's condemning Palestine. You're basically an insane person, okay? Because you're basically saying that Israel is above international law. Israel can live by standards that are somehow sublime and supreme. No other social group or country or entity can say, 4,000 years ago, my people lived here, so I get to have this land now. And here are my tanks and my missiles and I'm going to destroy this entire civilization. That's called a genocide, okay? It's always been a war crime. It's illegal. And you can't uh, destroy in whole or in part an ethnic group. It doesn't matter if uh, King David said you could or not. It doesn't matter if it was written in a book 4,000 years ago. It doesn't matter if 4,000 years ago you had blood ties to people that lived there. It still does not give you the right to colonize people's land that are living there now, okay? So you're justifying murder because you're a fascist, okay? You probably believe in Santa Claus too, for that matter. And that's why I say you belong at the kids' table. Because I hate to break it to you, Santa's not real and neither is Israel. Israel was there first. Well, that's weird that they called it Palestine then. This is how crazy this is. They have no problem going back to ancient history 4,000 years ago. They can go back 4,000 years ago and talk about their version of history, but they can't go back to 1946. They don't want to talk about 1947. My dad is older than Israel. I mean, wake up. It's a settler colony. Okay, these white people colonized brown people's land. A tale as old as time. It was wrong when we did it to the Native Americans. It was wrong when we did it to the Filipinos. It was wrong when we did it to the Hawaiians. It's always wrong. It was wrong when we did it to the Indians. Settler colonialism and its logic are antiquated. We need to consign them to the trash bin of history. And chuds like this are never gonna process that because they're stuck in imperial mode of brain fart, brain farting, shitting and farting in their brain with their settler colonial logicisms. Our president is older than Israel. These chuds are insane. Did he disappear? He, did he buzz off? Did he get banned or did the trash take itself out? Nixon ordered Cambodian genocide. Clinton sent cruise missiles to Sudan people died. Obama 
Gave the orders to do drone strike.